Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been kind of MIA ever since my last update uh, with my consultation with my doctor and everything, but I just wanted to hop on and let you guys know that we started stems on Monday. Today is Thursday. So today is uh, STEMS day four. And if you've been following me, you know that our last cycle got canceled on day four. So I kind of just wanted to wait and see what happened today with my labs before I started. Sorry, my, my son is quite loud. Before I started documenting again i don't know why i just i think part of me figured that this cycle would get canceled on day four as well however it did not i went for my four day lab work this morning and last time when it got um, canceled he wanted my estro estradiol estradiol levels to be at least a hundred and they were it was only 43 and that's why he canceled me uh, this time they wanted it at least a hundred and it was at 290 so that was a big improvement from last cycle I know I had talked about my uh, my med protocol whenever I had my consultation with him, and he did change it a little bit. I think I told you guys that he was um, starting me out on five vials of Minipur a day during stems, but he backed it down to four, which is what I've been doing up until today. Um, he wants me to go up to five vials today and tomorrow and then I have a follicle scan and more lab work on Saturday morning so he upped my Minipure um that's for those of you who don't know that's these little vials here um it's like a powder excuse my nails I was nervous today and like broke off or bit off all my acrylics so um but it's like a little powder I don't know if that'll focus, but it's like a little white powder, and um, you mix it with this clear liquid, and um, I do, I'm going to be doing five of these um, tonight and tomorrow. Um, my other medication, I don't have it out here oh is that just a random oh um is the gonal uh like ready jack pin it has to be refrigerated so i don't have it out here but um i was doing 325 units daily and he bumped this up to 375 as well and then um he wanted me, so so three days leading up to my stems, he had me on Ganarelix. Um, I did one pre-filled syringe a day for three days, starting on Thanksgiving. So I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I skipped Sunday, or yeah, skip Sunday, no, no medications at all on Sunday. And then Monday I started stems and I stopped this when I started stems. And now he wants me to add this back in tonight. Um, and she told me to just plan on having enough medicine at these new doses uh, to get me through till Monday. So we're probably going to have to order some more medicine. Whoa. We're probably going to have to order some more medicine, which stinks, but I would rather have too much than not enough. Um, it would be great if Monday was my last day of stems and 
we were going to trigger and have the egg retrieval after that, but I don't know. And she said, until I come in on Saturday, we really won't have a good idea of what's going on. And although my meds can be overnighted, I don't know if I want to chance trying to order meds on a Saturday and getting them to me before I need them on Tuesday. Because as of right now, I have enough money or enough medicine to get me through Monday night. And um, I want to make sure I at least have enough to get through Tuesday in case we do have to stem longer. So they told me to plan on stemming for um, at least 10 days. And I think Monday is only eight. So I, I'm going to have to talk to Chad and see kind of um, how we want to plan this out. But we definitely want to make sure we have enough medication in case uh, we go longer or whatever. So um, it just stinks with uh, IVF medications because you can't return them and they're so expensive. And it you can't know how much you're going to need until you're doing it and so you could end up needing a lot more or end up not using a bunch of medicine that they had you order so this time we ordered like the bare minimum and we plan on adjusting that as needed so that's the plan with that and we're gonna do these shots tonight and tomorrow and then I will update whenever I have my scan on Saturday so stay tuned for that um, I'll probably update as soon as I get out of my appointment on Saturday I would say so thank you guys so much for following along on this journey I know my updates have been kind of sparse here lately but honestly I've just kind of I kind of was being a negative Nancy and I didn't expect to get past this point. So I was kind of like, what's the point of making the videos? But here we are. We've made it past day four and hopefully we can make it past day six when I have my scan. So I will let you guys know and I'm going to go tend to my little chatterbox in here. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.